Well, I believe in a, that we have a constitutional republic, and that means that I would advocate that I'm a trustee of the people. And, you know, if you believe and understand why the Constitution exists, it is to protect individual liberty in this country, the minority. And our founders believed in that. And I believe that the, the way that you do that is you have to understand and know and trust the person that you elect to the United States Senate. Uh, you know, you have an office, an oath of office that you have to uphold when you take uh, that oath and you have to swear to uphold the Constitution. And so in order to do that, that automatically, I think, makes you into a de delegate. Not that you don't respect the will of the people, too, and that you don't, you need to listen to your constituents and make sure that you are uh, understanding uh, the different problems out there. But when you have to go and, and actually vote, you always have to keep in mind that you must protect those uh, rights that are enumerated in the Constitution, and sometimes there's a conflict with that. Uh, sometimes you have the, the majority and the will of the people that conflicts with the Constitution, and I believe you have to uphold the Constitution. Uh, I think part of the problem in Washington today, actually, is that we have too many delegates uh, or with that mindset where they, you know, just put their finger in the air to see which way the wind is blowing, or they take a, a poll and they think, well, we got to do this or we got to do that. And that's why we have this mess in Washington today, is because no one is standing up and upholding the Constitution and the, and the beliefs that our country was founded on. And that is a limited government. Um, and protecting the minority and protecting individual rights. I'll give you two examples here in Missouri. Conceal and carry. Uh, I was in the legislature. I co-sponsored that bill, and we passed it in the legislature. That was after the will of the majority in Missouri voted it down. Now, I believe we have a constitutional right in the Second Amendment. That's one example where you had a split in what the majority did and what the legislature did. Uh, another example was, was uh, uh, last year, or two years ago, with uh, Prop B and the HSUS pr uh, proposition that people, they wanted to come in and regulate uh, puppy mills. And the majority of people in Missouri passed that. <laughs> Thankfully, the legislature went in and fixed it because they actually, that was spelled out, it actually violated people's constitutional rights in that they couldn't regulate their own property, their own pets. Um, I think that's where you have to balance, again, the trustee with, the, with uh, protecting the Constitution. And let me say one more thing about that. I, as a trustee, there is a relationship between the voters and the person they're voting for. And during this campaign, I've tried to make sure people know uh, all about what I stand for. They can look at my record, uh, my voting record. They can look at my record as state treasurer. Um, and I have put out one policy proposal after another. I have an energy policy. I have a, a framework for national security. Um, I have a what I'm going to do in the first 60 days of office solutions to, I believe, our economic problems. Uh, I put out a, a, a Sarah, what I call Sarah's commitment. That's a personal commitment to individual voters about how I'm going to behave in office. So I think that helps establish a trust between the, the people who are voting for you so that they know you and they can trust you to make the decisions that are in the best interest of the people and also uphold and protect those constitutional rights that are so near and dear to us.